Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. And today we're talking about what gets to happen when you create your life. And I know it seems silly. We are put here and we go through a bunch of stuff and that's life, right? But what happens when you start thinking about what you want your life to be? Um, and so part of, as I've been getting people organized, as I've been helping them become more productive, I've realized that there are a lot of people that separate everything they do. This is this, this is this, this is this, this is this, over categorization. Um, and what happens then is you end up disorganized, less productive, and feeling like you don't have a whole lot of control over your life. And so you don't have a lot of control about your results either. But if you approach it from a slightly different perspective, if you put yourself in the center, then you can bring love, joy, and possibility into the life you are creating. And it helps you figure out what to keep, what to let go of, how and who you want to be in the world. And it makes the big categories of things come together so much easier. So when you are the center, you have so much more opportunity to enjoy the possibilities, the love and the joy in your life. So instead of looking for things to create joy for you, create the joy and then have the things that support that joy. It's just a little switch, right? And if you take it out a step, you have the three main areas of people's lives. And I realize different people have different kinds of lives, but this is the one that works for every single person. So you have the work you do at work, right? Your work life, your career life, your creative life. That can all be exposed through work that you do. Um, and you have your home life, which would be the foundation for that nurturing support you need to create the life you want to do and do your best work. Create that outlet for your gifts and creativity. And then the third aspect of creating a life is your spirit. What do you need in terms of connection and growth and community and interaction to leave the world a better place than you found it? Like that's kind of what I mean by spirit. It can be your relationship with um, a higher self, uh, a godlike being, or just your connection to other people. Whatever way you experience spirit for you is what I mean when I say spirit. It's your version of it. So I want you to think about it that way for a little bit. And I have this handy dandy graphic Venn diagram that I created. Um, I'm hoping you can see it. Oh yeah, you can see it pretty good. I'm tilting it the wrong way. <laughs> I have found though, if you think about it this way and connect with it in this way, it helps bring all the different aspects of what you're doing, what you're working on, what things you allow into your life to work together. It's like a system that they all feed each other. So if you have an outlet for your gifts and creativity, and it also brings you money that allows you to um, make a beautiful home and make the nurturing, supportive environment even easier. And it allows you to take the time to spend on community activities all of that is great, right? It all works together. But if you're stuck doing a bunch of things other people tell you you should do or creating a career path that looks just like everyone else's career path that doesn't take into account your own unique abilities, you're not going to experience it in the same way. And it's going to be frustrating and you're going to come up against it all the time. So when I say create the life you want from within, that's what I mean. When you automatically experience alignment, um, with who and how you want to be. And it's so much easier that way. And it does take a little bit of time and thought and practice and play, but the end result is spectacular. You will experience so much more joy. Your days will feel easier because everything is working together. And some of it, probably 80% of what you do and you're fighting against day to day is something that if you thought of it as supporting all the different aspects of your life, it would feel much easier and more joyful because it wouldn't feel like three separate things you need to do. It would feel like three things you need to connect together. And that's always easier. All right. 
Let me know if you would like a copy of this Venn diagram to help motivate yourself. Just put it in the comments and I'm happy to send you a PDF version of um, this Venn diagram, which I actually kind of like. It's pretty and I created it. Um, and the other thing is don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, tell all your friends because it's just a lot more fun that way. And I'll see you next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.